guys, Courtney Mermaid here. In today's video, we are going to take a look at how I am making my two new tails for 2018. All right, so these are gonna be much the same as uh, the other tails you guys have seen me do already. If you haven't seen those videos, I've already posted, I think, three. Um, yeah, I think by now all three should be up. Uh, this is my second tail in this style. I'm actually making two for 2018 because I wanted to have one that was um, a simplified version for swimming and one that was a bit fancier for photo shoots. Uh, still also usable in the pool, but um, one that could just stay a little bit because maintaining a sequin tail, um, if you don't know, is actually quite the pain in the butt. So uh, you lose sequins a lot, you're forever replacing sequins, it's just uh, good times were had by all. And um, yeah, so you can also see I'm, I'm wearing matching I'm wearing matching leggings that uh, that I actually made. I have a matching top as well. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do for the the fancy version of the top. I may just choose to do the same um, crop top, but with sequins. I'm not sure yet. So that's uh, still a work in progress. Also, pardon me if I sound a little bit um, nasally or a little congested still. I am still a little bit sick because why not? That's the universe being a bit of a poopy diapy. What you gonna do? So I've w moved my workstation around again. You can see I'm working on the floor now because I'm so tall that <laughs> my table isn't long enough for um, for me to actually stretch the thing out all the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I had to put it down on the floor. Um, I did actually make a discovery with this tail. I wish I had thought of this sooner. Um, it is going to solve some problems for me in the future. I was pretty fortunate the tails that I've made so far, the seams have all lined up quite nicely. Um, I have now found a way to have them line up, not quite exact, but pretty darn close. Because if you aren't aware, um, lining up the sides of pre-printed uh, fabric isn't actually easy. So I know there have been some comments on, not on my stuff, but just around the interwebs of it, how hard can it possibly be? Well, it's actually not as easy as it looks. And um, you can see I've got a light table on the ground there. I actually used it just on this one. I, I Again, I wish I'd thought of it sooner, but I didn't. This is all part of the innovating process. Um, every tale that I do, I learn something new that I can apply to the next one, etc, etc. So. Here I am, I'm pinning specific points down, um, and then my light table makes it look a little scary there. <laughs> but um, but it worked out really well, and I was super, super happy with how that, how that helped. But the interesting thing was I did notice that my pattern, the way that it was printed for this specific tail, was a little bit off. I'm not sure what, uh, what happened when I cut it or what happened, but you can see there's like a line where you can still see the green. It's because it's not lined up properly, so... It still worked out fine, but that was just a bit of an odd, a little bit of an odd thing there, guys. So now I always uh, check it quick just to make sure that the, the seams are lining up nicely. The main point is that you want your color to look like it lines up. So I don't know if you guys remember on one of my other tails, uh, probably the first version of the Luna tail. Um, there's a green and blue situation on one of my sides and you can pretty obviously see a seam where the color changes and that was kind of my goal was not to have that happen again. Um, but that's the whole point of doing um, sort of test dummy tails. Like those first two tails were a test. Now the purple one turned out perfect. Um, not really actually perfect. It was kind of spooky. Um, but there's always things that you learn. So and as I perfect my technique with making these um, Every time I do it, it gets a little bit easier, which is which is pretty good. And uh, if you see me like looking over my shoulder periodically, I'm actually watching um, what's that mirror um, black mirror? Is that what that's called? I forget now. That that Netflix show that's like impossible to stop watching, and it's freaky, and I love it. And it was we watched two episodes, so this time lapse it's about 11 minutes long, I guess. Um, all total, I worked for three and a half hours. Uh, that I've condensed for you guys because obviously who wants to sit and watch a three and a half Lord of the Rings length 
style video of me cussing and cursing at my sewing machine. <laughs> so it's pretty good, but uh, but yeah, so this tail's getting a full sequin treatment. Uh, actually today I'm doing that. I'm actually doing this now because I'm waiting for it to dry. So I figured I'll just record some dialogue super quick as I go. Um, yeah, my sewing machine didn't act up too, too much for this tail. Um, I've, dis I've discovered I have to be careful when I do my bobbin um, thread. There's, like, my sewing machine skips every once in a while um, when I do that, so I have to be very careful when I wind it, and then, then it doesn't give me a problem, so. Which was kind of nice. I'm making all kinds of funny expressions because of the show that I'm watching. It's sort of weird. Focus, Courtney, focus! <laughs> Oh well, what are you gonna do? So I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna film, because I'm still in my PJs today. I'm not sure if I want to film any of the sequin gluing. I don't know if that's something people are interested in. Maybe I will. I don't know. I've emptied off a couple of SD cards now, so... Um, but yeah, that was the that was the big kind of point that I wanted to make and why I was posting some of this behind the scenes, me making the tail um, footage, is because I don't get a lot of comments, I get the odd comment that my tails are overpriced, and if you actually, I could sit with you all and break it down, but um, for what it costs me, I'm in Canada, right, so my dollar is A, not so good, and I do work full time, so time that I dedicate to this is time that I could be, you know, taking care of myself or spending time with family and friends and this kind of thing, so it is time that, you know, it's supposed to be my downtime, but I choose to do this stuff because I really love it. The printing process, it's not super expensive, but it's still, it still costs money to have it printed. The time that it takes me to design the tail, the time that it takes me to do all the measurements and all the laying of everything out. Um, then there's the, the hand detailing with the tulip paints at the end of it, sewing it, the whole thing. It all takes time, and I think it's very sad that, uh, that I get given a hard time for that, or that any tail maker gets given a hard time for what they charge for their tails. You know, I'm not trying to exploit anybody. Yes, they're just fabric tails, um, but it was a real frustration for me. I, I, I do, this is not my full-time job. I do this strictly on the side for the love of it, so I need to make sure it's fair for me as well, um, and that I'm getting paid honestly what what I think these are worth. So I think I've priced them fairly. Um, I do have sales often in my store. My patrons get 15% uh, off uh, with a special discount code as well and that includes off of tails. So and that's all my patrons get that not just a select few. So there's that as well. You can always keep an eye out. Um, but uh, <coughs> excuse me. But just remember like I'm not a factory and I think that's another common misconception which is why I like to post these videos. I am one person and I do all of it. So short of actually printing it on the fabric, I have a company that does that for me. Um, that's like, I do it all. So I do the planning, the preparations, measurements, the design. Um, I prep the files to have them printed, any color corrections that need to be done. I do that. Then I have to schlep the thing back and forth to the printer, from the printer, home again, you know, my car costs money, my time is worth something, and so just keep in mind when you're ordering something from someone like a small business or somebody who hand makes anything for you. Um, I was at Fan Expo and there was this lovely woman there who was selling these beautiful little dragons, and I can't remember now offhand what she was selling them for, but in my opinion it was not enough. When I asked her how long it took her to make one, and she said it took her about a day to do, and I know what I make in a day um, at my day job, and I know what I charge for the work that I do as a mermaid, and I know with all my years of experience, and I look at her beautiful little creations and I think, this is work that is outstanding, this is insane, and, you know, sure it's not, it isn't, you know, maybe fair to some people who can't afford something because the minimum wage is what it is, and that's a whole other thing, but it's like, we we have to charge what we have to charge, you know, it's, um, I didn't want this to become like a rant video, but I had to bring it up because it was something that frustrated me a little bit, I just wanted to get that off my chest, I know I'm coming towards the end of the video as I wrap things up here, but just remember to, to keep in mind, you're getting a, a, a piece of somebody's soul when they hand make you something, you know, my blood, sweat, and tears literally go <laughs> into everything that I make, and... I try, try really hard to make it fair, but also make it fair for myself so that I can do this and not resent it in any way. 
Um, if you would like to see more of this kind of video uh, where I'm making things behind the scenes, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up so that I know. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss any of my mermaid adventures coming up because once these tails are done, it's gonna get real, you guys. I'm gonna be swimming and it's gonna there's gonna be a new video intro I've gotta do. I'm gonna be doing sight sightings around Vancouver again over the summer. Um, all of this is going to be kicking off uh, mid-April, uh, early May, I will start being more around. So I'm super excited for all of that. If you're interested in checking out my Patreon pod to grab yourself that sweet discount code, uh, you can check me out at Vancouver or at um, patreon.com slash Vancouver Mermaid. Uh, join the Patreon pod uh, for all kinds of behind the scenes goodies and that sweet discount code. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so, so much for watching. Here is the finished product. I'm I'm super super happy with how this turned out and I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like with all of the sequins. Alright my little fishes, happy swimming, we'll see you next time. Bye!